Imran Khan and his party, the PTI, have upped the ante against Pakistan's Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif. Imran and his aides have been demanding Shehbaz Sharif's exit. The PTI Senator Shokat Tareen says that the people of Pakistan have lost faith in the ruling government. While reiterating the party chief Imran Khan's demand for early election, Tareen says that the incumbent government has lost its credibility and that the country needs to be taken out of the ongoing economic and political mess. The former finance minister further criticized the continuous depreciation of the Pakistani rupee against the US dollar and called for the central bank's intervention to regulate the exchange rate to some extent. PTI's scathing attack on the government comes at a time when the Pakistani rupee is in a free fall in the interbank market and closed at a historic low today. According to the central bank, the Pakistani rupee closed at about 224 rupees against the dollar on Wednesday, down by 1.3% from Tuesday's close of almost 222 rupees. Analysts attributed the fall of the currency to the lack of economic guidance amid the prevailing political uncertainty and non-intervention by Pakistan's central bank. The South Asian nation's crumbling economy is now eyeing a bailout package from the International Monetary Fund. However, adding to Pakistan's mounting crises, the IMF is now reportedly looking to assess Saudi Arabia's commitment to financing Pakistan prior to dispersing fresh funds to the South Asian nation. Reports suggest that the IMF wants to ensure that Saudi Arabia will follow through with as much as the US dollar, that is 4 billion US dollars of funding to Pakistan to ensure that Islamabad does not have a funding gap after the IMF's loan. Pakistan reportedly needs at least 41 billion US dollars in the next 12 months to fund debt repayment and boost foreign exchange reserves. While the IMF is due to lend Pakistan about 1.2 billion dollars US dollars that would be insufficient for Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif's government to avoid a complete debt default. And for more details, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik sends us this latest report. Take a look. The Pakistani rupee continues to lose its value against US dollar, and today uh, it, it is being traded at uh, 226 uh, rupees per dollar uh, in the interbank trading, interbank market. Now, what is to be noted is that in just in the past four days, the Pakistani rupee has lost its value by about 16 Pakistani rupees to $1. Uh, that's an all-time high. The rupee continues to depreciate. Uh, in the midst of that, the Pakistani finance minister has suggested that economic stability is the only way forward and that uh, for that, all parties need to work together in case if there is an interim setup, something that has also been reiterated by PTI's finance minister, uh, Shokat Tareen, as well. Now, the IMF board is set to meet tonight where the formal approval of Pakistan's deal is expected. On the other hand, the IMF approval is also there with the rider that has sought assurances from the Saudi government that it would be continuing with its loan program towards the Pakistani government. Anas Malik, Islamabad, Pakistan for Beyond, World is One. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.